what is up? Welcome back to another video. I just want to say a quick thank you to my last video that I uploaded like five hours ago because it's already on 70 views and I aim to get 10 views every hour. So that'd be five hours, it'd be 50 views. It's got 70 views currently looking at it right now on the screen. Thank you ever so much to you guys who have liked it and you know, just spent the time watching it. And uh, thank you to the videos I uploaded four days ago. It's got 85 views. Just thank you so much. And if you've not already, leave a like right now because I guarantee you this video is going to be helpful if you want to try and get better at Fortnite. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers and once we get there we might be doing a giveaway, I'm not too sure yet, a V-Bucks giveaway on Fortnite. So if you do want if you want some, if you want to be, if you want a chance to win, should I say, or getting some V-Bucks, then just subscribe right now because the faster we get to 1,000, the faster we can do the giveaway and the faster if you win you can get it, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you understand. Let's get into the, the you know, the tips sort of thing. <laughs> Oh, one minute, let's get into the tips. One sec. Oh. So anyways, a few tips, or should I say tip number one of getting better at Fortnite. Well, I'll just tell you like a little quick story. So when I first started playing Fortnite, I never, I hated the game. Fun hated the game. And then friends started playing it, and then I started playing it a bit more, started getting into it, started getting better, and started liking it more. So the first tip is, the more better you are at a game, then the more you're going to like the game, the more you're going to enjoy it. Because if you don't really like a game, you don't really want to play it, and you're not really going to enjoy it, and you're just going to have a good time, are you? So, the first proper tip of how to get better is, say you're going for like a long range gunfight, you know, like it's like 100 meters away, or 200 meters away, or whatever it has to be. You've not got a sniper, you think, oh fudge, what can I do? You personally, well yeah, you need to whip your AR out, or whatever you've got, you know, like long range weapon or whatever, and then... Basically, if you stood up and you're just firing at them constantly, like, you know, just keeping on the button, rapid firing, just firing straight at them, it's going to be completely inaccurate. So, for the first thing you need to do is tap fire because it's going to be more accurate because, you know, as you shoot the gun, it goes up like that. But if you tap fire, it'll go bump, bump. So, like, you know, you'll get shoot it, it'll give you time to go back down, and you can shoot again, and it'll probably hit him twice, you know. Instead of you just spraying constantly, you're going to hit, like, twice anyway, out of, like, say, 30 bullets you shoot. And uh, if you tap fire, you're going to shoot two, and you're going to hit two more slightly. But another way to guarantee like more hits, you know, on the actual enemy you're shooting is to crouch as well. Because for some reason in this game, crouching gives you more accuracy. Uh, I don't really know if it does in real life or whatever, but if it does, then I'm just stupid for saying for some reason. But if you crouch and tap fire, you're bound to get, you know, the kill. If some, even if somebody gets first shot, you're bound to get the kill. Right. So the next tip basically is. Making sure you play a lot, and I mean a lot of games, and don't stress, just try and stay as calm as possible because basically if you're not very used to a game and you you know you get into the top five or top three or whatever it has to be, you start thinking, oh god, I, I can get this win, and you start believing in yourself, and then you start panicking and you just you know that you like you panic, you either switch to the wrong building structure or you choose the wrong gun, and you end up dying, and then you end up getting stressed, and you end up getting your fall on in this case iPhone 7 and you end up loving it and then you end up paying grand or whatever it is to repair your phone when if you play a lot of games that's not going to happen because you're not going to get nervous so you're just going to you know you'll stay calm you might actually switch to the right building material you might not have to build a base this that and the other and you end up getting the win so that's pretty good next tip is if you're playing with like duos or squads you need to make sure they're just as good as you you know if you're a competitive person make sure they're just as good as you because if they're not then if you're really competitive you're gonna like start well well I'm gonna start crying but I mean like you know just getting really angry and annoyed because they're not as good as you and then that'll end up in a fallout and just you don't want that really when you, you just don't want that or at least wait until they get better or at least try and help them get better if you're already a good Fortnite player or by this tips I'm telling you if you're getting good then if any friends aren't good tell them to come to this video and if they still aren't good then you can teach them yourself you know take the credit so the next, you know, tip is going to be make sure, like, you know what to build in, you know, like, whatever situation you're in. So, for example, height advantage in this game is a really, really, really good thing to have. So say you're up on a hill and someone's below you, like, nine times out of ten, you're going to kill them. And the way I would counter that is by, you know, building, like, a floor above me onto the side of the hill, so they've got to shoot the floor. Obviously, they can't shoot through it. And then you run away, get to safety, whatever, get in the house, heal, stuff like that. You also need to know for another tip is have you got time to use a make it in certain situations? And uh, most of the time, say it's a 1v1, right? And the zone's pretty big, no, pretty small, 
but and there's space between you and the enemy. Say if you built like a little square base and you think, oh no, it's gonna kill me, I'm on 10 health, you just shot me. You start panicking a little bit, so what you could do is build a base like above you and build stairs above you as if you've gone up another floor but you've not really, you're still underneath, so you know, like trick the enemy a little bit. Then take a med kit and then when he's coming over to you, like make a doll through the back of it or something and then build up and start shooting him. It just all comes down to you know, knowing what you're doing and stuff. Make sure you're familiar with like what building structure you're actually getting out. Make sure you're familiar and you know what bases you're good in and what you're not good in. Personally, I'd go to use a smaller base rather than a big base, you know, like just a one by one base. And then build a floor, build a ramp, one by one base again, build a floor, build a ramp, like four layers high. Uh, because if you drop three layers, you're alright, but if you drop any more than three layers, and you're going to take damage. But as you're falling, you can just, you know, get the building stuff out, press triangle once, well that's on a standard play anyway. And then just build, uh, if you're falling down, because that's the floor, and then you're bound not to take falling damage. If you, I, don't, I don't know if you get what I mean or not, but it's kind of hard to explain. And the last tip is, just again, you know, make sure you're always building ramps. If you're going to, like, attack somebody's base, Make sure you don't just obviously build a base next to their base because it's just going to look over the top and just shoot you, you know what I mean? So what you want to do, you want to build a ramp and then you want to build like a door and whatever else you've got to do. Just basically protect yourself, be familiar, again, and uh, I've just basically repeated whatever the other one was, haven't I? Just, oh. Anyways, that is going to be it on how to, you know, sort of get better at Fortnite. Well, that's how I get better anyway. Just play the game a lot. That's the main tip you guys want to know of. That's the main tip, sorry. <laughs> Oh. That is the main tip you guys want to just take my take note of, and uh, basically, if and by all means, if you did find this you know video sort of useful, ish, it's just a few little tips of what I use, or should I say, what I did use to uh, get better at Fortnite. Make sure you leave a like, smash the subscribe button in the face right now, and uh, we're on our way to a thousand subscribers. Like to start a video, if we do get to a thousand, or when we do, sorry. Most likely we'll be doing a V-Box giveaway, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for all the support on my channel recently, guys. And, uh, back when we get to, uh, I'll come back. Uh, that, that, just, bye.